Okay, so here's our second method. It's depreciation using the diminishing value method. Uh, now, the diminishing value method, it's more complicated. As I've talked about before, it's where uh, the item that you have is decreasing by a certain percentage every year. Let's take a look at a question that it would be like so you can see what it looks like. So here's the question. A car bought for $30,000 decreases by 20% each year. How much is it worth after five years? Now, this sounds very similar to a question that I've given you before. You buy a car for $30,000, it depreciates by $4,000 a year. How much is it worth after five years? The difference, this has depreciation as a dollar value, 4000 4000 4, loses $4,000 every year. This one has depreciation as a percentage. It decreases by 20% each year. Okay, uh, let's take a look at the question. Before I do that, it's decreasing by a certain percentage every year. You already have a formula to deal with this. It's this one. Now, with this one, you might be looking at it going, but that's compound interest. Yes, this is increasing by a certain value every year. Okay, you can imagine you got your house, you bought it for $300,000, and it's increasing by 5% every year. So you did 1 plus the 5%, and then you did it to the power of n, you multiply it by p. Increasing by the same percentage every year. This question is decreasing by the same percentage every year. So we can still use our compound interest formula. A, uh, let's use future value equals present value, bracket, 1 minus i to the power of n. So careful. This negative is only used if something is decreasing in value. Negative, decreasing. So, present value, I bought the car for 30 grand. 1 minus, it's decreasing by 20%. So that's going to be 1 minus 0 0.2. And then raise it to the power of 5. I'm just going to do one more line here. 1 minus 0 0.2 is going to be 0 0.8. And we're going to raise that to the power of 5. You type that into your calculator and you'll get some kind of answer. And we get our answer here, $9,830.40. $9,830.40. Uh, okay, so that's our diminishing value method of depreciation. Um, I might just show you, just before we finish up, I might just show you what's actually happening with this with this card. It's probably going to be a bit useful. I'm just going to use Excel here to show you what I meant here. Now, at the start of the year, it was worth... At, at the start of the year, it was worth $30,000. It decreased by 20%, which I'm just going to put in our formula as 0.2 here. Now, if it decreased by 20%, it must have decreased by the starting value times that percentage decrease. So it decreased by $6,000 in the first year. Now, that means that by the end of the year, it's going to be equal to whatever its start value was minus whatever its dollar decrease was. So at the end of the year, it's lost $6,000. Now it's worth $24,000. Now, at the start of the second year, it's worth $24,000. We're still going to get the same percentage decrease every year. Now, the dollar decrease, you'll notice, is going to change. Whoops. The dollar decrease is going to change because it's not 20% of $30,000 anymore. It's 20% of $24,000. So the dollar decrease is less. And we can put equals this minus this. Yeah. Now, I can drag that down now because all those formulas are going to stay the same. Whoops. No, they're not. Uh, okay, don't worry. Equals this. Equals this. Now, I can drag that down and the formulas should all stay the same. Okay, so that means at the end of the second year, it's valued at $19,020, which is also what it's going to be at the start of the third year. We can see again, 
but it's going to decrease by 20%. It's going to decrease by that amount. It's going to be that minus that. That'll give us that amount. And it continues on like this. There's some sneaky ways to do this with formulas, but I'm running through it by hand so you can see exactly what it's doing. This times the 20%. And it'll be equal to that minus that. And so you can see that number there. The reason I did all this was so you can see that that number there is equal to that number right there. Okay, so two ways to do it. You can use the diminishing value method or you can use the straight line method. The diminishing value method is closer to real life. When you buy a car, it loses a lot of value early on and then it loses less value over time. A 10-year-old car is about is worth about the same as an 11 year old car. Have a think about it. All right, that's, um, I'll just get rid of that. That's the depreciation, that's the diminishing value method. Thanks guys.